Everything comes to an end someday. Perhaps it shouldn't have been a surprise when the world did too. It was sudden. One day, the Earth simply reached the end of its life. At first, it seemed as if humanity had no choice but to die along with the world. But then a clocksmith appeared. He called himself Y. He said that he could rebuild the destroyed Earth with gears, the same way he would repair a failing clock. He did. And a thousand years passed. They'll be here in nine seconds. We're looking at two silent helicopters and one transport helicopter loaded with 12 combat automata. Three, two, one, zero. Reinforcements from the southeast. Twelve seconds. Clean these up before they get here. Got it? I don't take orders from you, so let's drop the bossy tone, okay? I hate to break it to you, princess, but this was your idea. I didn't ask for your opinion, did I? Now shut up and fight like a good bodyguard! Well, crap. Gotta say, this doesn't look promising. I think we're a bit outnumbered here. Agreed, so what now? What do we do now? We end this. Right, Ryuzu? That's right, Master Naoto. If sending these crude machines is someone's idea of a joke, it is not an amusing one. In fact, I find it downright insulting. Don't worry, Master. I'll deal with these worthless contraptions. And there will be nothing but scrap metal left. assessment of my performance indicative of your inferior intelligence <laughs> why named the world he built of a seemingly infinite number of gears it was no longer earth he called it the clockwork planet
<laughs> I'm back! I hope you weren't too lonely without me. Oh, you were, weren't you? My lovely ones patiently waiting for me even though I'm a complete and utter failure. Huh. I know I've never managed to repair a single clock, but my love for you is true! I swear! Someday I will finally be able to prove it to you! I'll become the clocksmith you deserve, really! Ah! Uh... I'm sorry. You have the right to choose. I won't force you to wait for me. I confess I have another love. The pinnacle of clockwork achievement! Automata! I really want to make one of my own someday. Uh, come on, fate! Help me out! Give me something! Materials? Money? Maybe just a scrap of talent? Huh? Oh, what is that? Rain? Go! Go, 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 go! No! You dropped a YD-01 container? Yes, I can't apologize enough. It belongs to the Breguet family and contains a National Treasure Class automaton. I promise the person responsible will be punished accordingly. Uh, Halter! Send out our own recovery team immediately! We can't trust those incompetent shitheads to do anything! Roger that. But if I can make a suggestion, Meister Marie, you may consider behaving more like a lady. Huh? Since this is a request from the Kyoto Grid to the Meister Guild, we should put our best foot forward. Don't you think? You know what they're really saying, though, don't you? This is too much of a hassle for us to deal with, so you take care of it. Still, I suppose we can't exactly ignore problems with the core tower. Let's get there quickly. <laughs> As you wish, Princess. It won't be long. Idiots. Well, at least this looks like it'll be an interesting job, huh? This is everything I love about clockworks in human form. Incredible. I have to know what she sounds like. Oh, wow. Amazing. The sound of the gears is more perfect than anything I've ever heard. <laughs> no. Hold on. It's faint, but there's an unpleasant sound mixed in. The gear at the very center is stuck. It isn't turning like it should. That must be why she isn't booting up. The power spring seems to be functional. Ah! No way! At this rate, it won't be long before this whole place collapses! Never even fixed a simple clock. What the hell do you think you're doing, idiot? Meister Conrad! Good to see you, Meister Marie. It's been too long. We're very glad to have you as our service chief here. Thanks for coming on board. Hmm? <laughs> Friends from the military. Didn't take them long to tell us to stay off their turf. Afternoon, Dr. Breguet. 
We were sent with orders to provide any assistance that you might require. And we require none. Thanks so much, though. We are more familiar with the Kyoto Core Tower than you. It would be foolish to refuse our help because We were of... called in because you can't handle this. The last thing we need is help from you. Oh. Have a good day. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. <sighs> I must be out of my freaking mind! If my hand slips and I put even the slightest scratch on the main cylinder, that's it. The mechanism will be irreparable. <laughs> but still, that sound it's making is wrong. I have to fix it. I just have to reach that screw. Y series. Unit 1. I am called Ryuzu. Uh, I'm now Tomura. Thank you for repairing me. I am very grateful for the assistance. However, I am surprised it took so long to repair a simple malfunction. It suggests humanity's intelligence leaves a great deal to be desired. I think a monkey could have resolved the issue more quickly. <laughs> Yes, a monkey, or even a smart dog. I confess I had hoped the person who was to become my master would be superior to an animal. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna pass out now. Huh? Are you feeling any better? You look quite pale. <laughs> Master Naoto, may I ask you a question? Yeah, sure! Go ahead! Tell me, do you have my design plan? Uh, no, I don't. I see. Do you know how many gears my body is comprised of? Uh, four trillion two hundred and seven billion six hundred million eight thousand six hundred and forty three, I think. So, you were able to determine the issue and repair me, using sound alone. You could sense what was going on while I was making the repairs? Yes, that's right. No! Oh, awkward! I'm sorry about that! I didn't mean to go opening you up, but that stuck gear was ruining the sound, you know? Master Naoto, you are a pervert. Sorry. Yes, I kind of am. <laughs> okay. With your permission, I would like to register you as my master. I will serve at your side and help in any way you require. Really? After observing your work, I have come to the conclusion that you are the most talented clocksmith on the planet. Oh, no, sorry! I think you've got the wrong idea! What's wrong? You aren't pleased at the thought of becoming my master. Is it because I am powerful, skilled, and highly capable? Does my perfection threaten whatever scraps of pride you've clung to in your sad little life? Well, no, I wouldn't say that. I understand. You don't want me. You don't have any use for an automaton. <laughs> okay. Calm down and get a grip, Naoto. Who is this girl, anyway? She's both high-spec and crazy beautiful. 
Is she a prototype for a big corporation? Or the military? Part of some international plot? Will they kill me to shut me up? Will anyone ever find the pieces? Careful! You have to weigh the risks. Please, who am I kidding here? I can't say no! I'd have to be an idiot to do that! And maybe I'm an idiot anyway, but if you want me, I'll be the best damn master I can be! All right. Huh? Then give me your right hand. <laughs> Initial Y series unit one. I am the one who follows, Ryuzu. I swear to remain by Naoto Miura's side and help him in any way he wishes. I pledge loyalty and servitude to him alone. It's weirdly quiet. Is that a problem? It seems strange to me that those officers haven't come back. You think they're up to something? I have somebody who can help us find the answer to that question. Karasawa. Uh, what can I do for you? We believe the military may be hiding something. Think you can look into it. I do have some experience with shady business. My last job saw to that. You don't mind helping, do you? <laughs> no one can refuse you, Meister Marie. I'll see what I can find out. Huh, you saved me again. If you hadn't gone in to get my things, I'd be broke as well as homeless. I'm sorry, though. It was a dangerous thing to ask you to do. You may be frail and weak, but I am strong and capable. I fail to see how entering a building put me in danger, no matter how derelict. <laughs> Were you intentionally designed to be so sharp-tongued, or was that some kind of glitch? Sharp-tongued? What do you mean? I forget I said anything. Now then, we need a place to stay. I believe that building will provide suitable accommodations huh? for us. Ah! What? 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 That's a love hotel! It is also reasonably priced, close to our current location, and provides the best amenities in the area. We should keep looking! Master, remember that no matter how unusual or indecent your primitive desires might be, it is my job as your servant to see that all of your needs are met. What kind of sicko do you take me for? No, 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 no! Let's just go someplace else. A manga cafe will work for tonight. Hey, babe, you're really freaking out. <laughs> yes, I am aware of that. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. You want to go have some fun? Come on, there's a hotel right there. <laughs> Brat, what are you doing? Piss off! No! You jerks don't deserve somebody like her! Just leave her alone! <gasps> what did you say to me, Kong? Had a death wish? Hit him already! Ryuzu, go! <laughs> Master Naoto, that's the first time you've called me Ryuzu. <laughs> you seem to think I need defending. Allow me to correct that misguided assumption. <laughs> that hurt. It's possible I took things a bit too far. But you shouldn't die of your injuries. And now you know, I don't tolerate fools who insult my master. <sighs> oh, I see. Rather than the big bed at a love hotel, you prefer the close proximity necessitated by a narrow bench. No, that's not it! This was the only place that was open! <sighs> Jeez, I could sleep for a week. You should totally get some rest, too. Thanks for everything. Are you going to ignore it? Say what? The perfect opportunity to sleep on my lap. Huh? Wait, I can do that? Really? Yes, you did it earlier today, didn't you? Was it unsatisfying? No, nope, not even a little. <laughs> Night. Master Naoto. Yeah? You know I'm an automaton. A manufactured clockwork doll. Sure. I know that. Okay, then tell me something. Why are you treating me like I'm a human girl? A strange master. So young and naive. 
I wonder what he thinks about me. to sleep. <laughs> Problem, princess? You have a scary dream? Don't treat me like a child! Get the team chiefs together now! Okay. Uh, quick suggestion? Yeah, what? You might want to cover your girly parts first. Hmm? We just experienced a gravity irregularity. Yes, though I'm amazed you could tell. It didn't shake so much that your body should have been able to sense it. The consequences will be serious if it continues. It could cause the entire Kyoto grid to fall. <sighs> that's right, there's no time to waste. We need to find the point that's causing the problem now. Unfortunately, it seems the military has a different idea. What have you found out? That they have their own plan. One they'll put into effect in the next few days. What? You don't mean... A forced purge of the Kyoto Grid? <gasps> Impossible! There's not enough time to evacuate everybody! They're aware. Doesn't seem to make any difference, though. <laughs> Insane. They truly mean to let Kyoto and its 20 million residents fall? Even the greatest genius possessing the greatest skills can only do so much. No clock, however well built, can tick on infinitely. Everything comes to an end someday. People. Worlds. Eventually, they must receive new life. Restored. Rebuilt. <laughs>